I'm going to load, load my slide agar as gel. It has very small wells, so I'm going to load about 50 nanograms of um, 1kb plus ladder um, into two different wells. Each one, that'll be about one microliter in each well. So I'm going to get down here. And I have five samples, so I'm going to leave five spaces in between. One, two, three. Okay. So our DNA ladder's there. And I'm going to let load two microliters of these digests that I have. Well, it's good to stabilize your hands by resting your hand gently on the edge of the box. Obviously, we don't want to poke holes into our agarose gel, so the objective is to get the pipette tip into the upper portion of the well without jabbing it through the agarose. Not all gel boxes have a red line to load on. You can put that on there yourself. This is just a piece of electric tape. Red electric tape. It makes it easier to see whether where you've loaded. Most loading dyes are either blue or green, and they show up pretty well against the red background. Hook up our gel. Hook up our gel. Uh, DNA always goes toward the positive negatively charged. And I run these gels really fast. I run them at 300 volts for seven minutes exactly. So this way we get our results in seven minutes only. I always set the timer on the power supply so you can walk away from this thing and nothing much will happen. And there it's running. I'll come back to you when this is done. All right, if we run the gel with the lid off so that you can easily see what's happening, you'll notice there's a whole lot of bubbles coming from the electrode. That's how you know your agarose gel is running. You'll also notice that right here, um, your DNA loading guy is moving. So we're getting the blue, the blue or the green color is moving. Take the glass slide out, the gloves on. There is a small amount of thinning bromide there, and so the iris gel is um, on that glass slide. You're going to hold, hold the slide like this, and you're going to take your finger and gently slide it off onto your imaging device. In this case, we have this um, BioRad UV tray that will go into the BioRad gel dot. And that's it. You can image this gel. So this is our gel, finally um, imaged. You can see that even when we run the gel for um, 300 volts at seven minutes, we get very nice um, resolution of the ladder and the bands. You know, the 1KB plus ladder is resolved very nicely and we get very sharp um, um, bands.